Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Kali Linux on a VirtualBox. Well, download and install the VirtualBox into your machine, and after that, make sure to download your ISO file of Kali Linux. After you are done with both of these things, open your VirtualBox and click on this new button. Here you have to give a name. I will name it Kali Linux. After that, this is the machine folder. Leave it as it is. In terms of type, obviously it is a Linux, but in terms of version, we'll go with Debian 64-bit because my system is 64-bit. After that, click on Next. From here, select the RAM that you want to assign to your Kali Linux in a virtual box. I'll go with more than five gigabytes. After that, click on Next. Now click on Create, and now again click on Next from here. Leave everything as it is. And here we have two options like dynamically allocated or fixed size. Basically, it is all about the storage. If you go with dynamically allocated, in case if your Kali Linux need some extra space, it will get the space on its own. But if you go with fixed size, you will not be able to have extra disk space if you need it. After that, just click on next. From here, select the disk space that you want to assign to your Kali Linux. I will give it around 25 to 30 gigabytes. After that, here we have the directory where it will get installed. I'll install it into my D directory. So I'll make a new folder in here with the name of Kali Linux and I will select that folder. Now just click on create and now we are good to go with our settings. Open your settings, go to your system and from here you can select the number of processors that you want to assign to your Kali Linux in your virtual box. I'll go with two. Then you have some of the settings that you can perform in terms of your display. I would recommend you to leave it as it is, then come to your storage. Now here it says controller IDE and it's empty. Just click on it and from here click on this drop down arrow which is a small one along with the disk. From here click on choose a disk file. I'll go to the directory where I have my ISO file of Kali Linux. So just select this file, click on OK and we are good to go. Now just click on this start button. Our virtual machine has just started. We'll go with the graphical install so just select the first choice and hit enter. And now it will start the installation process of Kali Linux into our virtual box. From here select your preferred language, I'll go with English, click on continue and it says select your location. I'll go with the default one, click on continue. And from here, it is asking us to have a configured keyboard. I'll go with the American English, click on continue. And now it has started the process. It will do some installation and again, it will ask us some questions. So we will wait for it. From here, we have to set our host name or you can leave it as it is and go with the default. Click on continue and from here, select the domain name. I will leave it as blank and I'll click on continue. And now it will configure our network. Here give the name that you want to have onto your machine. I will name it as Zubair. Click on continue. Again click on continue. And from here select the password for your machine. I'll set my password and click on continue. Here it is asking us to have the configured clock. So basically you will select the region. I'll go with the eastern. And now again, it has started some of the processes. It will take some time and I will get back to you when we are done with this one. From here, we have to select the partitions of our disk. I'll go with the first one that says guided use entire disk. Click on continue. From here, go with the default option. Click on continue. And here it is asking if we want to keep all the files in one partition or we want to go with separate. Well, as you can see, first choice is the recommended one. That is why I'll go with the first one and click on continue. Leave everything as it is here again and click on continue. Now here it is asking us if we want to keep the changes or if we want to write the changes onto our disk. Yes, we surely want to write the changes to our disk. So click on yes and click on continue. And now it has started the process to install the base system into our virtual box. It will surely take some time so you have to be patient and wait for it. From here, it is asking us to select the software. Basically, it is asking us to have desktop environment choice. I'll go with the default one. I will not have any other changes. So just click on continue from here. 
Now here it is asking us if we want to install the Grub bootloader or not. Select yes and click on continue. From here go with the second option and click on continue. And now it is installing the Grub bootloader for our Kali Linux. We are done with the installation of our Grub. Now it is finishing the installation process. So here we are done with the installation of our Kali Linux. Just click on continue. And now it is rebooting into our new system. So here we are done with the installation. So now just enter your username and enter your password and just log in. So from here I will just maximize this window and here you can see we are done with the installation of our Kali Linux and it is up and running. So that was all about this video. We'll see you in the next one.